We begin tonight with the merciless beating of a six-year-old boy allegedly at the hands of his mother's boyfriend. This is exclusive video of police. Damn. Booty head dude got a goddamn harem of fucking dime pieces eating his butthole. And this chick got a boyfriend. <laughs> The hell is going on with the world, man? Sons be winning, man. That fucking glider is going to fucking go to the academy to fucking wake up at five o'clock every morning and shit and do push ups and get yelled at by a drill sergeant. You got Miss Kool Aid right here just living her best life. And we begin tonight with the merciless beating of a six-year-old boy allegedly at the hands of his mother's boyfriend. This is exclusive video of police taking his mother, Portia Wells, to jail. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Russ Benson. I'm Courtney Bryant. Wells and her boyfriend, Napoleon Aids, both face multiple child cruelty and battery charges. Fox News' Brittany Edney is live outside the Clayton County Magistrate Court with new details. And Brittany, one of them is able to post bail. Yeah, Courtney, that's right. Within the past 24 to 48 hours, both Eights and Wells have gone before a Clayton County Magistrate Court judge. For Wells, she was denied bond based on those charges. But as for Eights, he has that option available, although there are certain conditions included. Therefore, your total bond is 6,500. I knew it was a sister judge. I knew it was a sister judge. We went to hear what they did to this kid, man. This sister, and, and think about this sister gave him a bond, man. Therefore, your total bond is 6500 Do you understand the charge as well as your bond amount? Yes, ma'am. A Clayton County judge tells 36-year-old Napoleon Eights that if he's able to post bail, he must stay away from the six-year-old boy he's accused of severely beating. Okay, well, there's a no contact, which means you must stay away, absolutely, directly, indirectly. Hey, hey, Miss Mammy, I got a way you, that, that we can ensure that he stays away from the six year old. Did you say six thousand dollars? I don't know. Let me see. The no contact, which means you must stay away, absolutely, directly, indirectly. And he also cannot return to the home of his girlfriend, 33 year old Portia Wells. So you're prohibited from returning to the incident location. Investigators say Eights accused the child of stealing money over the weekend and then severely beat him for days as his mother stood by and watched. He accused the child, a six year old, of stealing money and severely beat him for days. Severely beat the child for days. And this whore's like, um, we'll let you out, but you just got to stay away from me. But <laughs> if he's able to post bail, he must stay away from the six-year-old boy he's accused of severely beating. Okay, well, there's a no contact, which means you must stay away, absolutely, directly, indirectly. And he also cannot return to the home of his girlfriend, 33-year-old Portia Wells. So you're prohibited from returning to the incident location. Investigators say Eights accused the child of stealing money over the weekend and then severely beat him for days as his mother stood by and watched. The little boy is in the hospital fighting for his life. Police say the beatings left him with broken... The little boy is in the hospital fighting for his life. And homies out. Yeah, he he's an asshole. asshole. <laughs> like home, homeboy's out on six thousand dollars. That's crazy. When did they say six thousand? I didn't hear that. In the beginning, I think they said six thousand um, dollars bail. The judge um, gave him six thousand dollars bail. There are certain conditions included? But as for eights, he has that option available. Although there are certain conditions included. Therefore, your total bond is six thousand five hundred. Do you understand? Holy shit! Yeah, the kid's fighting for his life, and this man's out. He beat damn the kid for days. You gotta. Re I, I hope they. I, I saw another story on this. So what happened was the kid stole the the kid allegedly stole the money. We don't know. We don't know how much it is. We don't know where it was stolen from. We don't know nothing. All we know is that he accused the kid of stealing the money, and he 
beat the kid. I'm talking about 24 hour days, like for days. And then beat him some more and beat him some more and beat him some more. And the mom didn't do anything. And then two, like two or three days later, the mom finally took the boy to the hospital. His aunt, like, wait, I'm, wait till you hear this shit, man. I'm gonna let them tell you, man. The fact that this guy's out while that kid's hanging on by a string to life and the mammy gave him an honor system, like, you just got to stay away from him. Like, are you kidding me? $6,000 bond? These black women, listen, man, something got to be done about these black women judges, man. They see, she sees him as her son. Or as like her husband or her father, but he just the white people didn't give him enough resources, or white supremacy held him back, or white um, the structures, the systems of white didn't allow him to. If he would have had more of this or more of that, he would have been able to be a better lot in life. She sees it like that. Well, really, she's she's supposed to see that child laid up in the hospital with tubes in every fucking orifice in his body in a fucking induced coma. Yeah, back in the day, judges heard stories like this, and they started crying, and then you suffered. Like, what? 25 years. Fuck that. Yeah, it's, it's just insane that this woman's going to let him out on... T- So this guy's walking the fucking streets. Yeah, he's out right now. And if he's got a job, he can go think about it. If this guy's got a fucking job, he can go to work tomorrow. Meanwhile, City Mike Carey, she lost her fucking job. And she had an argument with some goddamn fucking (laughs) Mr. She lost her job because of that? Yeah. yeah sure. oh. Every white person that argues with a um, sub person loses their job. For the weekend, and then severely beat him for days as his mother stood by and watched. The little boy is in the hospital fighting for his life. Police say the beatings left him with broken bones, blood clots in the lungs, severe bruising, and bleeding Man, in the that brain. Ass bitch. Well, Listen to his injuries. Listen to his injuries. Well, that fucker is just used to walk out I and watched the little boy is in the hospital fighting for his life police say the beatings left him with broken bones blood clots in the lungs severe bruising and bleeding on the brain wells appeared before a judge late thursday morning who detailed the charges who or excessive physical or mental pain another black woman judges all these fucking hair-headed hooligans look at their hair <laughs> this one she's got a fucking hair fucking forehead and shit and this one got some shit going over her forehead too what the fuck they, like what the fuck is going on here man bruising and bleeding on the brain wells appeared before a judge late thursday morning who detailed the charges who or excessive physical or mental pain by allowing, by allowing her boyfriend napoleon eight to excessively cause physical harm to the victim with an alleged belt and hands. Due to the charges, the judge denied bond. Investigators detail how Wells not only didn't help her son, but casually went about her daily life while the boy needed medical help. She went about her daily life. She went to work. She went and got her nails did. (laughs) Wow, that's fucked up. He's laying there with broken bones in a room with this savage who's beating him fucking Man, they got my motherfucking money. Oh, you for how old he is, man? Where my motherfucking money at, nigga? Shit, man. Fuck that shit, man. Man, bitch, I was for how old this nigga is. He in there with he was in the room with that fucking guy for like three days, just getting his brains beat in and shit. This bitch gonna get her nails done. Her daily life, she went to work. She went and got her nails did. Um, horrible, horrible uh, what this baby had to endure. 
And Wells also faces an additional charge of lying to police. She allegedly told investigators in the beginning that she was not even there when these beatings took place. Then allegedly she switched her story back and said that she was there. She just didn't step in. Reporting live in Clayton County. I'm <laughs> this white woman, this white woman was like, yo, she can't even, this white woman knows she can't show any facial expressions because that's going to be racist. She got to be, this white woman can't even be like, my God. I, yeah, I was, damn, she, she's tried her out and she, she, look at her eyes, her eyes are saying it, but she knows she can't, she can't gasp, she can't sigh. We win it out here, man. Um,